Hey, what's going on guys? It's Yang Bang in person. And you know, for this video, I wasn't really too sure how I was gonna make it a video. Uh, so this is gonna be the survival mode on Blade and Sorcery. And I, I was trying to go for as far as I can. You know, no slow-mo, no magic, no healing. Uh, it's kind of what I always do. And uh, I got pretty far. I uh, got to wave 11 and uh, things, things got pretty crazy. Uh, but like I said, I, I don't know how I was gonna make this a video. So I was like, all right, uh, I'll chop it up, get all the good parts, and then how about I do a commentary on it? So that way I can show you guys, uh, well, one, show you guys how I did in the action, but then also talk with you guys about, um, you know, any good parts or what I was thinking, because uh, this was, I think this was like my third or fourth time playing survival mode, and it's pretty awesome. And it, it gets pretty crazy. So. Uh, you know what? Let's just jump right into it. I haven't really done a video like this before, so excuse me if there's any weird hiccups. Um, I'm a professional amateur, and I kind of just did this for fun. But, alright guys, let's watch this video. Okay, so right away, um, getting hyped, trying to show you guys what's up. Um, my first weapon's gonna be the Antique Sword. Uh, showing you guys my settings right now. Everything's disabled, uh, I got fall damage on, armor protection on. Because, you know, as annoying as the knights get, I actually like fighting them. They make it really tough. But, alright, wave one. And, let's see here. <laughs> the new jump attacks in U10 are so silly. Uh, I mean, they're cool. I, I really like seeing the AI do it. It makes them seem more aggressive. But, uh, you just gotta step out of the side and swing at them. <laughs> this one, I was just trying to be fancy. You know. Oh yeah, that spin. I was like, I got you guys. This is gonna be good. Uh, but yeah, uh, survival mode, uh, wave one. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's still like a 1v1. I think there's like 8 or 9 AI that come out. So it's nothing too challenging. Oh, nice arm chop. <laughs> Even the AI bug out like this, it's, it's, I'm like... I don't even know what to do, so it's like, alright, I'm gonna be fancy with this guy. And luckily it was the last round. Alright, last guy. So. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucks sometimes is the weapon selection for each wave is... It's a little weak. I mean, I hate how they have duplicate weapons like that. I wish... I wish they prevented duplicate weapons. Uh, let's jump in here. The small axe is okay, it's not my favorite. The edge alignment for it is a little weak, you know, because it's good at chopping, but you really got to get that right spot for it. Block these fireballs. Same thing. AI jump. Just whack them out the air. The archers, dude. Archers are... I like the update with the archers. Uh, the, the arc in the arrow flight is a little slow, but um, their aim is pretty spot on. Got that decap right there. I think how bloody that axe is now. So if I was to mod the game a little bit, I would increase the uh, the fireball traveling speed just just a little bit. They're a little slow and they're they're pretty easy to dodge. I kind of want them to be a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> yeah, just trying to edit and get all the good parts in there. <sighs> I was really going for that decap. End of wave two, next weapon. Oh yeah, rapier. Now this this was a pretty fun round. I don't normally use the rapier, but when I do, I, I really gotta get into character. You, know, you guys can see I uh, keep my hand up on uh, try to act like I got balance and stuff. <laughs> uh, but when it's uh when it's barbarians or like really light armored enemies, the rapier destroys. I mean, it, it's Poke City, so it's good to go. And, you know, the rapier is pretty good at slashing. You know, you just gotta... Uh, you have to really work its momentum to get a good slash. <laughs> yeah, those archers, like... Definitely, you know, once they... Once they're knocked and they're ready, it's a lot of sidestepping. Oh, I caught this. This is cool. 
Yeah, I remember doing that. Catch that fireball, stuck him right on the wall. It's good stuff. Oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure he hit his buddy. Oh no, he hit his mace. I didn't see that before. And again, I'm trying to be fancy for you guys. <laughs> Alright, uh, see, weapon selection. Doo -doo. Uh, put this. Uh, well, at first I thought it was doo doo, and I was like, alright, I'll, I'll take this, uh, the Reverend Sword. It's actually my, my new favorite weapon. You guys will see why. You guys haven't been able to tell. I, I really tried to get those dismemberment kills for you. So in this clip, I think one of the most coolest things happened. I'll let you know what happened. It's coming up. Alright, watch these two dudes. Boom. <laughs> Double thrust, jump, finisher kill on them. Well, finisher on themselves, but... Uh, I was like, there's no way, I actually stabbed these two dudes, eh, but it happens, it happens. Hmm. Solid. Oh, this round was so, look, look at this, I got two bows and the wizard staff, like what do I even do with this thing? I was doing like, this, this might be it, this might this might be the round that I died, like I don't even know what this, the damage that this staff is going to do. I was like, uh, let's go. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, it's got good bonking power. I kind of like that. It's like, alright. <laughs> I like this part. Boom. Like, lightning staff. <laughs> so at this point, I'm thinking like, oh man, th this, this stick, it bonks. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, alright. We're gonna have a good time. There we go. See those combos, guys? That's legit. <laughs> that just sent that guy flying. Ooh, we gotta pop that fireball real quick. I'm gonna get stuck in the fence. That's <laughs> That was a good one. Ah, oh, see that one like it was getting too fiery, right? So I caught the fire boss, spun around. I was like, let me get rid of one of these guys. So one of my favorite moves, right? It's like if you swing forward, swing it back. It's a counter swing. Especially if it's like a double-edged sword or if it's something, a blunt weapon. Same damage, swing once this way, just pull it back. Mm, okay, so for this wave, I had the Reverend Sword again. Uh, I would kind of like a more progression kind of system in this uh, survival mode, but I know there's only so many vanilla weapons. So, uh, oh, for uh, Zeronia, uh, yeah, so this is all vanilla weapons. And, um, I did have one time on uh, using MMP, but uh, they were like, no, only vanilla. So I was like, alright. I'll do it in vanilla. Oh, and uh, shout out to Church. Uh, he said I'd only last two minutes. Uh, I think we're at like seven forty seconds. Seven minutes forty seconds. Take that, Church. All right. <laughs> oh, the physics. The physics are so silly. But as you guys can see, the Reverend Sword. It's pretty good. I like it. Not as clunky as the longsword, and you can still kind of use it one-handedly, but uh, it's got a lot of control. That's why I like this sword. Now I was trying to catch that fireball. Yeah, I can't catch them all. <laughs> mm. Solid finish. So, for this round, I was like, alright, uh, here we go. Another two bows and a potion. It's like, I can't even use the bow. You know, it's like still a quiver. So I was like, alright, I'll just go with my last wave weapon and just keep the Reverend Sword. So that's three waves so far with the Reverend Sword. 
And I was like, all right, I'm gonna make it work for me. Oh, here we go. I think we got the first upgrade of enemies now. So they're wearing their leather armor. Just gotta go for those limbs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I was feeling good with that reference sword. I was like, okay, like, let me do some damage. That's yeah, a little hard to thrust through the leather armor with the reference sword. So that's why you kind of see me doing like slash city right here. Just left, right, up, down. Yeah, so at this point I was like, come on, you know, I need a different sword. I saw the long sword. I thought about it. But I was like, I'm gonna take them all, you know? Here we go. I haven't used this thing in a long time. I do remember it, like, what was it, back in U8 when it first came out? And I was like, yo, this is like OP as hell. But, uh, you know, hey! But, uh, it was an option for me, so let's use it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Ready? Jump? <laughs> mm, mm, solid. <laughs> Send these guys flying. Yep. Now, that's so that that jump attack is silly, but I actually love the physics that uh you know you hit him right out of the air. Just send him. Yeah, there's no surrender. None of that. <laughs> If you watch my videos a lot, you'll, you'll see that I really love that counter swing. I'll swing left or right, and then I'll just yoink it like that. There we go. Yep. Mm. Oh yeah, here we go again. Boom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. So I saw the double-bladed staff over there, and I was thinking I might use it. But, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to get somewhere, so this claimer's gonna do the work for me. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, these guys don't even stand a chance. I think they really upped how many archers were in this round. Though. This is wave 9. It, it did get pretty hairy. You know, see a lot of hiding in these corners, so that way I can uh, get to the archers. The way I play my game is that I don't have a uh, sprinting enabled, uh, so I just make the sprint uh, equal to the run speed. So uh, if I was to like do two hands and shake my hands and stuff, it wouldn't really, I wouldn't go any faster. Uh, I think it, for me, it makes for better uh, gameplay and uh, a little bit more control of the player. Let's see, who said that sprinting attacks are good? Okay, okay, get rid of the archers. I'll watch this ready. Spin. <laughs> See? Spin tax work. In VR. Oh, these archers. Yeah, so two things that I would mod, right? I was saying that I want the archers to shoot faster. I'll watch this ready. Boink. Yeah, I was like, get, get that arrow out of here. I want the archers to not only, like, have faster arrow velocity, but I want them to shoot faster. That guy actually shot pretty fast. That was good. But I kind of want that to be the standard, you know? It's like, knock, pull back, loose, right away. See, see, this girl, she's like, it's like a solid two seconds of just aiming. Nah, just let it rip, you know? Oh, there's a guy. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be fancy with the half-sorting, you know, from that last video. I just wanted to talk about half-sorting. I like the technique. Alright. Spear time. And so wave 10. Here we go. This is when we first start seeing these guys. Yep. Up in armor. Spears. Oh yeah. They smack. <laughs> oh. 
Now, to a degree, you know, you can use like, you know, kind of like long sword techniques. You know, hold it down by the base and uh, just swing it around like a long sword that's a blunt weapon. And just aim for the very tip and you'll get those, uh, that slashing damage. There we go. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> I, I really like the box. Bonking is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so by this time in round 10, my health is like... I think I've got like 15 or 20% health left. Uh, those arrows uh, in those other rounds, they, they did do damage to me. And uh, some of the fireballs. So... I'm being a little cautious. I, I'm pretty sure at the end of this round, I lost a little bit of health as well. But hey, this was round 10, okay? So, I get to round 11. That, that's where I would like to say, like, who else has made it to round 11? I want to know, you know? Let me see your video. Let me see some action of what you got. Because uh, I love watching you guys uh, upload videos on Discord and stuff, too. This is my favorite VR game, so... Oh, yeah, so the Bardiche comes out, and I'm like, bet, you know, this is going to be easy time now, you know, just going around, I'm like, yo, I'm about to whack, whack city, here we go, boom, boom, and did you guys see that? Alright, this is like, I kind of wanted to do the commentary, you guys saw that, right? You know, here, I'll, I'll probably go back for you guys real quick. I, I, I swung, right? I hit the dude, and then I don't know what happens, but the dang weapon, like, holds on to the guy. So as I'm, like, running forward, I'm about to go hit that other guy. It pulls me back at the same time his buddy is doing a jump attack to, like, right where I would be for some reason. Hmm, yeah, that's kind of cheap. Hits me. There I go. I'm, I'm launched at the wall. And there, there's the end of my glorious uh, survival run. You know, so wave 11... Ah, I wasn't even like it wasn't even like a solid death. I got cheated, guys. But uh, well, all right, guys. So that was my run doing uh, survival mode. Uh, wave eleven. No healing. No magic. No nothing crazy. You know, just solid melee. And uh, you know what? If, if you guys uh, got a video or you guys are doing the challenge too to see how far you can get in survival, you know, let me know. Ping me. I love to watch those videos and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was totally BS. How I died. <sighs> I guess I was gonna die soon anyway. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video with me. Yeah, yeah, for watching the video with me. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this uh, kind of video with me doing the commentary after the the battle scenes and stuff. Uh, if it was any good, let me know. If uh, it's kind of like weird, uh, let me know too. If, uh, if you guys are surprised that I am bald, uh, let me know that too. But anyways, uh, you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. And uh, see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.